Good morning, friends. As you can see, we are under a little construction this week. We're going to be adding on to our deck. So we cannot wait to see the finished product and you guys will be here along for the ride. But even more exciting, Morgan and Tony are moving into their new home at the end of this week and Zachary and Lindsay are actually en route from Phoenix, Arizona to be moving to Cleveland. So all of our babies are going to be living close to us again, all of them. And we are over the moon excited. And then of course, little baby, our little baby girl is going to be here soon too. So a lot of great things happening. Welcome back to another one of my vlogs. All right, so I got a little arch here. These guys, look at, he goes crazy when these guys are here doing all the work back there. So actually, it is my son-in-law's brother that is doing the work along with his friend uh, who is also in construction. So uh, driving in from Pittsburgh, so we're really happy to have them here. And uh, I know they're gonna do an, an amazing job, so. Uh, little Archie's been going crazy, but hope, hopefully he's getting to know them a little bit. So I can't wait to see how the process goes today. It's supposed to be pretty decent here this morning, but late, late this afternoon, we're supposed to get a lot of rain and wind. So let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. Everything goes well today. All right, guys, I've been working a lot and I thought I'd enjoy one of my meal preps. This is a chai, chocolate chai pudding. So I'm going to try this one out and actually I'm sitting here doing some work. I'm going to eat this and uh, watching, I love watching, you guys need to follow her. Uh, especially if you guys are into like eating clean and you know, that kind of stuff. Her name is Nikki Sharp, I'm gonna put her channel below. But um, I, the book I shared with you guys many times before by her is the Meal Prep Your Way to Weight Loss. And I love this book. So um, I'm eating actually one of my little meal preps, watching her video, and actually, you know what? Our furnace man just got here, so I'm gonna jump off here real quick, and uh, we're having some furnace issues. Go. So I wanted to share with you guys, this is gonna be, well, they're, I know, Arch, where they're gonna actually, the concrete, and they're gonna put this thing over my house to dump the concrete. So I'll film it, this is gonna be super cool. All right, you guys, now they're starting to put it up over my house. They're going to get it positioned, and then the concrete's gonna come through this, over my house, into the position it needs to go. Second floor just showing you, here it is on the other side. This is really cool. Little things in life that just are entertaining us today. <laughs> so, of course you guys know the house here. It's looking through the skylight here. All right, so here it is over the other side of the house. Pretty cool. So now here's the cement truck pulling up and I guess it's gonna put cement into this green thing. <laughs> and we're gonna have an added on patio area. So cool. Okay guys, while well, all this action is happening at the house today, I'm making some lunch. And I recently tried these. Tika talked about these. These zero carb bagels. They are really delicious. So I'm gonna make one of these with a little tuna fish. We put a little lettuce on it, some tomato. And then we're heating up some pizza for the guys out there doing all the work. So, uh, crazy day around here today, but it's so exciting. So I'll show you um, how things are looking as uh, the afternoon goes on, but it's gonna be stamped concrete. It's gonna look really pretty. So, um, I'm so pumped. So, uh, yeah, pretty fun day. Arch has been really good though. I'm surprised, but I'm really happy. All right, guys, well, I look like a hot mess here. I had to jump in the shower, so I just put my pajamas on because I was so like dusty from all of the, um, like they throw like that powder on for like the coloring of the, um, you know, of the, the concrete. Cause I want it to be sort of close to what we already have. Cause we have decking there, which is like that kind of faux wood. And uh, so we were out there while they were doing that. So I felt like I had to jump in the shower. So it's coming along really good. Mark and I like been cleaning out there. So they're gonna come back. We're gonna have the landscaping done. And then they gotta come back and power wash it and put some kind of a sealant on it. So it's been such a fun day getting all that done. So I'll show you guys like maybe tomorrow a little bit, but um, I'm starving. So I had a cauliflower pizza. I know it's not the healthiest, but I ate very healthy today, all day. And um, I'm gonna have one of like one of those little slices 
and uh, just chill out tonight. It's been an exciting day, like I said, around here. Uh, I love it. I cannot wait, cannot wait to put all the furniture out there and decorate. It's gonna be so beautiful. So uh, I can't wait to share all that with you guys, and hopefully I'll get to do some of that. You know, this weekend, it's gonna be hard because we're gonna be in Pittsburgh helping Morgan and Tony move, so it's gonna get done, and you guys will get to see it. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Uh, today is Tuesday. I just said Tuesday, April 30th. It's our youngest Caitlin's birthday today. She is 25. So uh, she's actually in Boston right now for work. And uh, so I sent her a little text. I always look for pictures when they were like really little and like a current one do like a little kind of collage and post it. So I'm always trying to find the right picture because sometimes the girls are like, oh, I don't like that picture you posted. I'm like, oh my goodness. Typical girl, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, um, so I sent her a text bright and early this morning, my little baby girl. So hopefully she's enjoying her day in Boston. So uh, I've got a lot to do today. You guys, yesterday I never left the house. I'm gonna show you real quick what it looks like out there now, but there's a lot of powder on it because that's what puts the color on it. So it's really, I'm, not, I'm just going to wait because you really can't tell. So uh, I'm going to head out. I need to find a base to the table that we're going to use outside. The base that we had with the chairs that I bought just doesn't fit right. So now i got to go find a base. So um, I'm going to go do that today. I need to get some groceries. Uh, we have nothing in this house. Nothing. And uh, just run some errands. So we've got a lot to do today. So it's 10 o'clock. I'm gonna head on out. One more thing before I head out, I'm gonna have my breakfast real quick. And I don't remember if I told you guys how much I really loved this chai kind of pudding um, with chai seeds in the almond milk. Oh my gosh, it's really delicious. So I'm glad I made, I food prepped, which is great. I'm gonna eat this real quick before I head on out. So I wanted to tell you, it is really delicious. I will be sure to list the recipe in the description section. Okay guys, so, so far I went to Pier 1 and can't find a base size that I need. So I'm gonna head off to a local place called Petites and see if I can find something um, so that's the problem we either need a base high enough for my glass piece that we're gonna put on on you know on the decking on the outdoor area or we need cushions for the chairs that I purchased to make us up a little bit higher so I don't know I got my work cut out for me today, so I'm gonna keep going store to store and see what I can come up with. Well, I'm home and I put all the groceries away. I was gonna share it with you, but nothing was too crazy. Um, so what I'm doing is I saw a few things at this one local place, Petiti's, and so Mark's gonna be home here soon. We're gonna run real quick. I'm gonna show my thoughts, and then we're gonna see if he liked the idea, and hopefully it will work out because you know, gosh, what's so hard when you've got like the furniture you want to use and uh, I thought everything was measured right, but apparently somehow we missed an inch or two. So that's what I'm looking for and I'll explain it all to you once I see it and hopefully we find what we're looking for. So uh, I'm just waiting for Mark. Our landscapers are here and it's pouring down rain. It's just crazy. Anyway, someone's calling and it's probably Mark on its right, way. you guys, so I'm making dinner. I thought I'd share it with you. I'm gonna make like a healthy version of eggplant parm. So I basically just had some egg whites, dipped the um, eggplant into it, and then into some almond flour. I seasoned it up with like Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper. And uh, now um, I put them in the oven, um, flipped it on each side for like seven minutes. So now I'm just putting it in a nine by 13. I put my sauce in first. Here's the eggplant. I'm gonna sprinkle on some mozzarella cheese here and then some parm cheese and do one more little layer. And I'm gonna put some fresh basil on top and then put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. So I'll let you know what it tastes like. But I Googled this and just found the recipe on all recipes. A healthier version, so we'll see. So I've got a turkey sausage and the eggplant parm. I'll let you know what I think about it, but it does smell really good, so hopefully it's Tastes as good as it smells. All right, you guys wanted to tell you, dinner was really, really good. So I'll maybe put in the description section what I changed in this recipe to make it even a little bit healthier. It was phenomenal. Oh my goodness, Mark's like, this is so good. So thumbs up on this one. So I'm just gonna do the dishes. I'm gonna do some editing. I have to edit Lauren's vlog. That's probably about it for the night. So I'll just catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone. Today is Wednesday, May 1st. 
and um, I am just getting ready. It's filming day, so Lauren and I are gonna film uh, our April favorites and empties. You know, sometimes like we look back, do you guys really wanna see those or not? But it seems like you like them, so if you really like them, let me know in the comment section. Uh, so, um, Anyway, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. we got some really good favorites, too. I got some great ones. Threw on some Sephora stuff from the VIP sale that I got the first day that I've really been enjoying. So, that was in April. So, uh, <laughs> and what else? So, other than that, today I really don't know too much going on. Um, Mark just came home and watered off the, um, the cement, the new cement, a little bit. It's still covered. Here, let me show you. It's still covered, you guys, with the powder. So it's really hard to tell. Look at here's a little fix of Archie. Hi, sweeties. Okay, so I'm not gonna go out because it's really dusty. But as you can see, uh, that powder is on there. So they're gonna get in here, Archie. They're going to power wash all that off. So it's really dirty, so I really don't want to step out here. It goes back into over there. Now you can see we've got these posts in here. We've got four of them. Mark's going to um, stain them, and we're going to put caps, and then we're going to have lights, which is going to be so super cool. So not much to look at right now. Like I said, they're going to come back later this week, power wash, and then you're going to see the gorgeous, vibrant color that's going to come out of here. It's going to be stunning. And then we're going to get all new landscaping back around here. So... All right, so the only downside to this is the weather is going to be uh, a little rainy towards the end of the week. So I'm really nervous about that. I, no, I'm not going to say I'm nervous about it. I'm hoping that it's not as bad as they're saying because I really want to get this deck done. I Not deck. The We're going to call it a patio now because it's in addition to the deck, but it's not decking. It's cement. So I just really want to get all that done. I want to enjoy it. Um, I know I'm going to be gone most of the weekend in Pittsburgh, helping Morgan and Tony, Mark and I, but, um, well, me on Friday, Mark and I both on Saturday. So, um, yeah, just a lot going on, but all exciting. Zach and Lindsay made it safely to Phoenix, so, uh, Phoenix, to Cleveland, so they're officially back in the state, which is phenomenal. And like I said, Morgan and Tony into their brand new home. Right now they're staying with uh, Morgan's in-laws, uh, which is very close to their new home. So, um yeah all good things so i'm gonna go make another cup of coffee and wait for a uh, little orchid to get here all right you guys well lauren and i finished up filming and i already went and got my nails done i had my appointment so we're still on the hunt for finding a base for this glass piece that we have for the outdoor area so i'm gonna run into hobby lobby and see maybe if they have something there I'm going to walk into a few places. This is like, this is so difficult to find something. We have a vision and we're just not finding it even online. So I'm going to head into Hobby Lobby and let's see if I can find Guys, something. Guys, I have been all over Youngstown. I was in uh, our one Hobby Lobby, drove like half an hour to the other one to get hopefully what maybe will work. And then I went to the at-home store and picked up a few things. I've been having so much fun. Sorry I didn't pull out the camera. I just was having a ball in there. So, But I will show you when I get home everything. So I'm at a red light. I'm going to pay attention, and I'll see you guys when I get okay, home. Okay, I am home, and I think I just beat the storm. So I'm hoping Mark gets here before like it looks like it's going to get closer because I need to unload some stuff out of my car. Uh, and I like to do it in the driveway opposed to the garage just because we have all our outdoor furniture in the garage. But let me show you some of the things I did pick up. Well, and I'll show you more later, but I'll show you the two that I brought in. So we, of course, want to do some string lights. Um, I showed you guys the uh, the poles that we have up. And so I got these string lights to string out there. So that's why we actually had the poles put in. So that way we can have lighting, the omniance out there. So I'm really excited about these. And then I wanted to show you two, and I have other stuff, but it's in the garage. Um, I just got my, my order in from Grove Collaborative. And what it is, is I, I do have these spray bottles. Um, they're glass. And, but what I bought this, it's a lavender and thyme shower spray and an orange and rosemary tub and towel cleaner. So uh, I think you just maybe add, you add something to this. Because this is, um, I think, let me see what it says here. Uh, da, da, da. It's a concentrate. So yeah. Um, we're gonna probably add water or something like that to it. So anyway, I can't wait to smell these and try these out I bought one for Lauren and I <laughs> to try out. So I wanted to share that with you and then uh, What else then I'll show you the rest once Mark gets home. So I thought I'd share a few things um, It's gonna be hard to picture until I show you everything 
um, you know, once it's all set up. But I was able to, these are the pillars that I found at um, Hobby Lobby that I had to travel to get four of them. So we've got four. Mar's gonna paint them like a sort of a Tuscany kind of a look. I'm gonna put our glass table on top of it, on top of four of them. So it's gonna look so super sharp. I cannot wait to see it's gonna be. So I know how they say like the Tuscan look, you know, in and out, whatever. I love the look, so who cares? <laughs> but anyway, I picked these up too, because I thought um, this would be so cool to put on the table. Uh, once we have the glass piece on and I got these two to put on the table and I picked up these kind of flow, little flowery things, just, you know, to add some pop of color um, to the to the outdoor area. So these are the things that I got. And, you know, you guys are just gonna have to wait when all this comes together. This is the staging area. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is, what is today? Thursday? Thursday, May 2nd. And uh, while well, I was present, pleasantly surprised when I was doing work at my desk and Zach, who is um, doing our concrete, uh, our concrete man, <laughs> um, showed up. And so he power washed off the, uh, the patio, the concrete. He's gonna come back in a few hours and put a sealant on there, stain the tr uh, around the edges so it has like a nice edge. So I was like, woohoo, I was so excited. So I called Mark, Mark ran home. I'm like, I gotta jump in the shower. And I, you know, I sort of hate doing that when I know it's people, just in case they need anything. So, so can you come home for like literally 15 minutes? So he did, I jumped in the shower. So, um, which I'm all showered and ready to go for the day, which is great. So I'm gonna probably, well, it's 11:18. I ate my breakfast that I prepared the other day with uh, the flaxseed, hemp seed, chai seed. It was so good, but now I'm getting hungry. I ate that really early. So I think I wanna have some leftovers from last night for lunch today. And uh, I changed my Apple Watch band today to this, um, the Louis Vuitton one that's repurposed. And because I thought it matched my top, which I love this top, from A50 Blues. And as soon as they got it in, I think we talked about this on uh, our favorites. I was so excited. I'm like, can I have it before it even goes out on the floor? She's like, sure. So I, she might have more. So if you guys are interested, I'll link the information below. So. Anyway, I'm all set to go. Oh, I got my new bracelets. I love these. I think I also shared these on our favorites. You guys probably would have saw this week already. And I'll list these. I love them. They're the cutest things. And uh, Tika is actually the one to introduce them to me. Not to me personally, to everyone. And then I like how to go get them. So, all right, I'm going to finish watching um, Hoda and Jenna. Warm up a little bit of lunch. And then I don't even know what I'm doing. Well, tomorrow I'm going to be in Pittsburgh all day, so I think I'm just going to get some laundry done, and I know Mark and I are going to head out here in a little bit when he gets home, so um, we'll see what the day brings, but I just want to jump on and say hello and good morning. So I'm going to go ahead and have some leftovers um, from last night. I made that turkey, or, or I get the turkey breast, and I thaw it, like the frozen one, the butter ball, like all turkey breast, and then um, I put it in a crock pot with some like hot peppers, like these kind of hot peppers and oil. It's so good. Two ingredients, delicious. And I love it even better the next day. So I'm gonna make a salad. But I found a recipe out of the food prep book that I shared with you guys earlier, and it's a lemon poppy seed dressing. So I thought I'll make it with you guys. So let me see, I'm gonna move this over so I can at least see the recipe. So let's see. It is, it calls for a half a cup of olive oil. So let's do this. Into my little mason jar here. All right, I'm gonna move this to lower so I can. There we go. Okay, so the next is two tablespoons of lemon juice. I just have this lemon juice that I got from. Um, the grocery store. I mean, I have fresh lemons, but come on now, just make life a little easier today. I'm gonna shake it up just in case it needs shooken up. And it calls for two tablespoons. So I'm gonna pour that in here. One. Oops, oh shoot. I just squirted lemon all over my pan. So, oh, I don't wanna change. Oh well, I'm just gonna have to smell like a lemon today. It could be worse, right? Okay, um, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I like this one, the organic one, the uh, Bragg. And it says one teaspoon and one teaspoon. Okay, let's add that, add that. 
and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. So hopefully, oh gosh, I am making an absolute and utter mess here. It's gonna be hard because this is actually getting empty. extra little squirt okay good enough and one tablespoon of poppy seeds I should have did this the reverse way because this is not gonna be it's gonna be good it's gonna a lot of it stuck to this okay and a tablespoon of honey and I got raw honey here I'm gonna wing it. I think I know what a tablespoon looks like. Pretty good. All right, I'm gonna shake this bad boy up and we'll see what it tastes like. Alrighty, so I have a little bit of leftover salad. I didn't put any dressing on it from last night. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of baby arugula, which I love, to it. Just to add a little bit more. So I'm gonna have a nice big yummy salad. Some spring mix. I already got some cut peppers in there, so it's just me eating it, so I'm gonna use my hands. See the peppers? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, shake up this dressing. I actually added a little S&P in it too, because I figured, you know, maybe it needs a little. All right, guys. Stir this around. Give it a try and I'll let you know what I think. Okay. I hate trying to eat. It's hard to eat salad when you're filming because, you know, it's hard to get a little piece. So hold on. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, I'm going to list the recipe in the description section. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat my salad and enjoy my leftover turkey. All right, you guys, so I'm, I'm really on a mission right now to find the absolute perfect pinky nude lip, liquid lip, matte. I love the Stila, you guys know how much I love the Stila. So I actually have three colors on right now to sort of get to a color that I think I sort of like, but I don't wanna have to mix three shades together to get the perfect pinky nude. Not even like a pinky nude, it's a pretty pink lip. I don't know, it's, I'm finding it so hard. So if you guys know of any pretty pinky nude, um, more pinky than nude, but not bubblegum pink, sort of similar to this, but in one shade, please, please, please share in the description section because I am on a hunt until I find the perfect one. I might have to just seriously design my own and I don't know how, but I'm going to find a way. Uh, I love pinky nude but with a little bit of a pink like this. So again, this might not even be like the perfect color, but I had to put three to get this on. So I kept playing and putting more and more and putting this color on, lighting it up, darkening it up. So let me know. I'm on a mission, help me out. My mail just came, I forgot I ordered these. They are Malva Toast called carb o -licious. zero carbs. And again, another Tika find. She's like on this keto diet. She's guys, she's lost so much weight. She looks phenomenal. So anytime she has a really yummy snack, I grab it. So I'm gonna try these Malba toasts. I'm gonna let you know what I think. All right, you guys, while well, they finish sealing our um, concrete, looks so good. So now Mark and I are gonna run to pair one. I'm gonna check out a few things there. Oh gosh, whatever we decided we were gonna do with those columns, we decided we don't wanna do that now, so. Back to Pier 1. Good morning, happy Friday. I'm actually in my neighborhood, so I'm coming up to the stop sign. Pull this out real quick. I just wanted to say, hey guys, uh, happy Friday. I'm heading to Pittsburgh. So we're mo official moving day from Morgan and Tony. So excited. So I'm um, hitting the road. I got my little breakfast. A coffee, stuff in the back. It's gonna be a fun day, so I can't wait to show you guys. I'm so excited for them. All right guys, I am here. I cannot believe since the last time I was here, 
how many how many houses have gone up so I had to beat the pottery barn truck to deliver the baby furniture they still are closing on the house so I'm here in their driveway waiting for pottery barn I think they have the keys and they're on their way so let the fun begin I can't wait to see what the inside is like looks like all done so an exciting day so I'm actually eating finally eating my breakfast here while I'm waiting for pottery barn truck to get here and uh, Morgan and Tony It is Friday night, six o'clock. I got home literally a half an hour ago, threw on some clothes. So you're gonna see this quick little video of just like the first floor of Morgan and Tony's house. So we were able to get the baby's room all set up. I got the kitchen. Uh, Tony's mom and I got the kitchen all set up as far as like all her dishes and everything. And then tomorrow the moving truck will be there with all the big furniture. So I came back home tonight because um, Mark was doing some stuff here around the house when he got home from work. And then our friend Gary, Jody's husband, and our friend Mike, Kim's husband, both of their birthdays. So we're gonna go out tonight and celebrate their birthdays and then get up at the crack of dawn tomorrow and head back to Pittsburgh. So I cannot wait to just, when the furniture comes in and just help her decorate, I just love it. We had such a great day. So all I just have on is this cute little dress um, from Spruce when we did the video for Spruce. I'm just gonna wear it with that jean jacket and then we're gonna head out, I think, to a Mexican restaurant because uh, Mike's birthday is on, I think on Sunday or Monday, we call it Cinco de Maico instead of Cinco de Mayo. So we're gonna go out and celebrate their birthdays today, uh, tonight. And uh, so just looking forward to just having some fun with friends and then tomorrow spending the whole day with Morgan and Tony and it's gonna be super fun in the baby's room. You guys look so precious. All right guys, a little uh, Cinco de Mayo kind of going on here. Live music. Sorry. Jody. All right, so this will be fun, you guys. Right. A little bit of Mexican tonight, you guys, with the friends. Cinco de Mayo, Cinco de Mayo. Got a little skinny margarita, and some delicious chips and salsa. I love their coleslaw dip. It's so delicious. Being a little bad tonight. Happy Saturday at 7.18. Ready to roll. Just got my workout clothes on to go help uh, Morgan and Tony, Mark and I, uh, help them move. Uh, and Well, move further into their new home with all the furniture today. So we're going to grab a coffee and head on out. So uh, it's going to be a fun day. It is quarter till seven. We got home just a little bit ago from Morgan and Tony's. We've got everything completely all set. The bedrooms, um, the kitchen, the furniture is all in. So we're exhausted. Huh, Arch, you know, you stayed home. So I'm here, it's like a rainy day here today. So I'm just, I got a blanket. I wanted to take a nap, but now I've got like a second wind. <laughs> and we're actually gonna watch the Kentucky Derby. It's gonna be, uh, the race is gonna be here in a few minutes. So I always love to watch the Kentucky Derby. And then we're just gonna chill out for the night. And then I got so many things I wanna share with you guys tomorrow. So, um, but it's been a great two days. Uh, I just, so proud of Morgan and Tony. Their new home is simply stunning. And Morgan is like, she is, she's ready to roll. Now next, next step is baby, baby. We can't wait. So, all right, Arch, say hi. Look at him. Hey, Arch. Archie. Okay. Hey everyone, good morning, happy Sunday. So I'm gonna head out and get some groceries and then hopefully uh, it will warm up enough that we can be on our new outdoor area. So I can't wait to share it with you with all of our pillows and all the pops of color, which 
I'm not gonna be able to reveal any everything until um, me my next vlog, only for the mere fact is we're getting the uh, landscaping done tomorrow, and I end my vlog tonight. So I'm gonna head out to the grocery store. I'm gonna make some yummy stuff for dinner, so I can't wait to share all that with you. Plus, um, some stuff that I got from one of our subscribers from way back in the beginning. Her name is Cassandra. I absolutely adore her. And uh, she sells Scentsy. She sent Lauren and I a box of goodies. And you know what? I was looking at the catalog and I thought, you know, I should just sign up to do sell this. Because, you know, I love Cool Canyon. I love the candles. But I also love Scentsy. I love the warmers so much in this sense. And um, so I did it. So I think I'm going to schedule some kind of a party. And I'm going to do some giveaways with you for you guys. So I'll share all the details on that here in a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get my groceries. And then get back so I can start putting all the pretty puffs of color out on our patio. All right, guys, so we're gonna have uh, dinner here soon. I thought I'd share it with you. My mother-in-law and Allie are over, and we are having, oh my gosh, what the heck was the name of this stuff? I'll have to put it in the description section. But it's chicken breast, and you pound it, and you add shallots, which I forgot to get shallots. So I added some onion and garlic, and then um, you put some fresh lemon juice, salt and pepper, and then you make a nice salad with uh, our arugula and, um, and just sort of put it on top. And then I made a sweet potato for me and then baked potatoes for them. And we're sitting out on our new patio. It looks so pretty. So I'll share with the, uh, you guys that in here in a minute. But um, anyway, so yeah, we're making dinner and I'm having that delicious lemon poppy seed dressing that I made the other day with our salad. So, and Alexa is uh, going off. So I'm gonna let Mark know that uh, the chicken is ready. Guys, this is There's dinner, it looks so good. You put the salad on, what is this stuff called again? Chicken? Chicken pyar. Pyar. The sweet potato and I'll show you what these were on the table and here's the sitting area Sunday supper club little Archie <laughs> all right you guys dinner was fabulous by the way so I'm gonna share the recipe in the description section it was just so nice eating outside for our first time so uh, on our new patio so now we're gonna actually heading over to Mike and Kim's. It's Mike's official birthday today. I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier. So we're gonna head over, wish him a happy birthday again, and then uh, we'll be, you know, stay for just a little bit and then head back home. And then I wanna share a bunch of stuff with you guys yet tonight on my vlog. So um, stay tuned for that. But it ended up being a very beautiful day today. Very bumpy too. <laughs> no, but a very beautiful day today. And uh, enjoying uh, a lot of this beautiful sunshine, so. I'm going to show you guys too real quick how beautiful my vignette, oops, my vignette from last time is still looking and all the gorgeous, now these are right here, these are the real tulips that I just picked up from the store today, just how gorgeous everything looks. So I cannot wait to share with you guys also um, how the patio is turning out like more of my finishing touches here. So stay tuned on my next vlog. Okay guys, we're back from Mike and Kim's and I just wanted to end my vlog. I got a few things I wanted to share with you. Um, first of all, uh, the stuff I got from Cassandra that she sent uh, Lauren and I from Sensi, And like I told you guys, I ended up signing up to be a Sensi consultant just because I love this stuff so much. So I thought, well, why not? Maybe I'll just have a little online party. And you guys always ask me the, about the lamps that are on my kitchen counter and they're from Sensi. I've had them for years. so. I'm gonna do like a little party and I'm gonna do a giveaway with you guys. So, oopsie, sorry, dropping stuff. So anyone that places an order, uh, a Scentsy order, I'm gonna draw a name and do a giveaway and I'll have all the information in the description section. So make sure you guys check it out. I'm like so excited. Oh my gosh, there's so many warmers here that I love that are really cool looking. So I'm gonna be changing up my stuff a lot. So stay tuned for that. So real quick, let me show you though what um, Cassandra sent me um the ones that i that i have i'm sure lauren will share the ones that uh, she got from cassandra but this is a hand lotion actually from sensi and it smells so good i think it's called pink pomegranate it smells great uh, i got to cut some sensi little pods here or whatever you want to call them. i think they're called pods well not really pods but i mean maybe who knows but i love them i gotta learn all these names so love these and then she got some um like some little like body washes they actually have body washes and stuff too so in some different scents and then i wanted this is like like you can put this in your car it smells really good this one is maybe i'll put oh oh my gosh that's so much better okay so this one is sweet cucumber and then i got um a hundred acre wood this is like a little sachet or something i think you can put in a drawer or 
Oh, it smells so good. It smells really good. So this too. So, and a bunch of little sample uh, tester testers of some of the different scents of Scentsy. So thank you so much, Cassandra. I just love you. I adore you. You are one of our old time. I say old time because she's really young. She can be my daughter. Um, but she's been a subscriber for so long and we just love her so much. So I was so sweet of her to reach out to us and send us some stuff. And uh, she just wanted to do it because that's just how she is. Not that she wanted anything from it, but ended up, um, of course I had to share. And I decided I wanted to be a Scentsy little consultant here and it's only $15, so why not, right? It was so easy to uh, sign up, so yay, I'm so excited. Um, look, again, I'll put all the information in the description section. So a few things that I wanted to share with you guys before I end this vlog. Um, Remember I, uh, the Grove Collaborative stuff that I got in the beginning of the vlog, the glass spray bottles with um, the stuff for the shower door and then the other stuff for the, uh, like, like the bathroom, like an all-purpose kind of thing. And all you do is mix it, you know, with water. You guys, I've used that all week. That is definitely a Karen's love. It is so awesome. This scent is phenomenal. My shower is so squeaky clean, the shower door. Um, everything just smells so good. So um, I am loving that stuff. That's the only stuff I'm ever gonna use now as far as my bathroom, my bathroom door in, in the bathroom, it smells so good. So loving that. Um, I wanna also share with you a YouTube channel that I'm really enjoying. And her name is Steph Stir. Jofsky. I'll have it in the description section. What a super cool girl. I love her channel. I can't remember how I came across her channel, but I've been like binge watching her stuff and she I can't believe she needs way more followers than than you know than she has. I think she's super cool. I think she lives in Canada. So um I wanted to you know just tell you guys about her. And um as far as my Karen's loves this time, it's gonna be definitely the Grove Collaborative, that cleaner I told you guys about. I'm loving that Too Faced Natural Lust eyeshadow palette. Awesome. And then of course, I'm still so much in love, you guys, with my Beauty Blender foundation. So those are my loves this time. And uh, I've got more stuff from Sephora coming, but I'll share that on the next vlog. So, okay, I feel like I've talked long enough, but hey, listen, you guys, thank you so much for coming along with me. It's been such an eventful week. Um, we're just so blessed to have Morgan and Tony into their new home. Everything went so wonderful, so beautifully. Uh, they're all in, uh, Zach and Lindsay, we're gonna go there tomorrow, Mark and I, and help them get moved in in Cleveland. So a lot of great things going on. This is such an exciting time for us. So basically, hashtag living in bliss is just, I am just so grateful and feeling so blessed for the life I have and um, and our friends and our family. And just, uh, just be blessed, you know, and show your gratitude. And, um, you know, spring season, it's finally showing up around here. And just the, the beautiful flowers and the greenery and the sunshine is just makes us all so happy so i'm just so blessed so um and grateful so and i'm grateful for all of you so thank you as always for following me on my vlog and i will see you guys next time bye bye